Hi students. In this video, we will explore how to use Zoom for a class meeting. First, click on the Zoom link from your teacher. It might be in your Google Classroom or your email, but once you click that link, it'll open up your Zoom meeting. The first thing you might see is a box that asks you to enter your password. So go ahead and enter the password that your teacher gave you and click join with video. Then you will be taken to a waiting room. When your teacher lets you in, you will be able to see your teacher and the other students. So my teacher just let me in. And now I am in my Zoom meeting and I'm going to click um, join with computer audio. Sometimes when you enter your meeting, you might automatically be put on mute if your teacher has that setting. And if the window is too small and you would like it bigger, you can go up to this top bar here and click on this maximize, video, uh, maximize icon. It looks like a square. And that will make your Zoom window larger. And you can see here's my teacher right here and here are the other students in my class. So if you want to get out of the Zoom window, you can click this minimize button here. It'll make that window very small and you'll be able to see the person speaking here. And if I want to open it back up, this icon that looks like something's popping out will maximize the video again. And sometimes this top bar up here is hiding and that might be because you are in full screen mode. So you can see right here when I highlight this square, it says enter full screen. When I click on that, it makes my screen a little bit larger and I no longer have that bar across the top. So I can't minimize or close out, click the X or maximize. In order to do that, I need to exit full screen. So see right here, it says exit full screen. When I click on that, I have my bar at the top again. Another nice feature to know is um, the view feature. So right now it has everyone side by side. If I had a class of 30 students, everyone's pictures would be up, but it would be much smaller. This is called gallery view. Sometimes you might want to be in speaker view or your teacher might ask you to be in speaker view. Um, you'll see up here, it actually disappeared for a second. So if you don't move your mouse, many of your controls will disappear. The controls I had along the top and along the bottom disappeared. But when I move my mouse, they appear again. So right up here, it says speaker view. I'm going to switch to speaker view by clicking on that. Now I'm in speaker view and it shows that the person speaking is this student here. If my teacher started speaking, her picture would be really large right here. So this is speaker view. And now this button has turned into gallery view. So when I click back on that button, I'm taken back to gallery view where I can see each of the students and teachers. So those are some nice features to know about. I also wanted to show you how to access something outside of Zoom. If your teacher asks you to open Google Classroom or a Google Doc, you'll go back up to this minimize bar. And remember if your teacher, uh, if you're not able to find this bar, it might be because you are in full screen mode. So remember, you need to click exit full screen and then click minimize. When you minimize, you'll have a small zoom window here with a picture of whoever is speaking. And then you can click your Google Classroom or whatever your teacher asks you to find. And you can still see the people speaking in your Google, um, sorry, in your zoom window right here. Okay, so you can click into that. Um, let me maximize this video again. Another nice feature to know about is the mute and unmute buttons. So right here, I have my audio mute. You can see there's a slash, a red slash through my microphone. That means I'm on mute. So right now my teachers and my classmates cannot hear me. But when I unclick that, then I am no longer mute. Ooh, that is very loud. I have lots of computers on, so there's a lot of feedback and a lot of noise, but you can tell when I clicked unmute, then the other students and the other teachers can hear me. You won't have that problem because you won't have many computers on the same meeting in the same room. So right here is your mute and your unmute. You click it once to unmute and speak to your teacher and classmates, and you click it one time to mute again so no one can hear you. 
Um, you might have seen when I clicked unmute, it didn't have that red slash anymore. I'm going to try it again and see if it doesn't make that crazy sound, just so you can see what it looks like. Oh, that hurts my ears. So you can see that my microphone didn't have that red slash anymore, and the other participants, the other students and teachers could hear me speaking. And this is your video. You can stop or start your video. Right now, I can see myself on my screen. That means other people can see me. So if I click stop video, then my video doesn't show anymore. I'm on mute right now and I can see because I have a red mic in the corner of my picture. So no one can hear me and no one can see me. But I could have my video muted where no one can see me and I could unmute my mic so that people could hear me. I'm not going to do that because it makes that crazy sound, but do know you can have your video stopped, but you could unmute your mic so people can hear you. I'm going to start my video again, and there I am. And there are another couple of shortcuts that help you with muting and unmuting, and I want to show those to you now. So I'm going to minimize this and open up another window that I have. Most likely you will be working on your Chromebook, your district Chromebook, and this hopefully is what your keyboard looks like. So one tool that you have is to mute and unmute your audio by clicking and holding Alt and then clicking and holding A. When you hold Alt and A one time, that will unmute your mic. And if your mic is unmuted and you press Alt and A one more time, that will put your microphone on mute. Sometimes it's hard to move your mouse and click the button, so it might be easier just to click Alt A. And you can remember that it's an A for audio. Another quick shortcut is muting and unmuting your video or starting and stopping your video, your picture. You can click and hold Alt and then click B and that will start your video. And when you click Alt and B again, that will stop your video. That might be quicker than using your mouse. And you can remember video because it's a V. I'm not sure if you can see this window down here, but this is the window for my Zoom meeting. So if your teacher is sharing your screen or if you're looking at something, you can move this window around to move it out of the way. Another shortcut for your audio for your sound is the space bar. That might work on your Chromebook. If you are muted and you want to talk to your teacher, you could quickly press the space bar and unmute. And if you're ready to mute again, you can press it again to mute your audio. All right, hopefully that was helpful in getting you started with Zoom. One last thing to show you is how to leave your meeting. You can click this red leave meeting down here, or you can cl click the red X to leave the meeting. I hope you have a great time meeting your teacher and your classmates and doing lots of great learning this year. Bye.